This is my Raspberry Pi Zero. It arrived in the mail the other day, quite quickly to my surprise from the UK. And it is very small and looks like a lot of fun to play with. But one of those issues with the Pi Zero is that there's no network connectivity out of the box. So I'm gonna show you one strategy for adding it. Uh, and this comes out of the fact that I was too impatient to wait for a micro USB to USB A adapter to arrive in the mail. So I thought, well, how can I short circuit the process so I can add a Wi-Fi dongle to my Raspberry Pi Zero? So here's what I did. The solution involves getting one of these small USB Wi-Fi adapters and ripping the guts out. And if you do that, you get a little circuit board like this. And to that circuit board, all I did was to grab a micro USB cable, spare one that I had lying around. So at the other end of this is uh, one of the larger USB connectors. And at this end is the micro USB connection. Grab that, strip the four wires and wired them across the PCB like so. So the uh, two voltage carrying wires, the black wire for negative and the red wire for positive at each end of the uh, old USB connector. So the old USB connector on this Wi-Fi dongle uh, was actually a gold plated PCB tracks. So black to the left when uh, viewed in this orientation with the antenna at the top and the USB connection at the bottom. So black, green, white and red wired up in that order to the micro USB cable. And so now that's ready just to plug in to the proper USB on the go connection here on the Pi Zero. Plug in some power. So for that, I'll grab a micro USB cable that I haven't cannibalized. And you can hook up to power in that manner and, and off you go. So the only issue with this approach is that, of course, if you add a new peripheral like this Wi-Fi dongle here, it needs to be configured. It needs to be told which Wi-Fi network to get onto uh, in order to, uh, you know, connect to your network. It needs to know the SSID and, and the password and, and so on and so forth. So before cannibalizing it, what I recommend you do is keep it in this state. Grab yourself an older Raspberry Pi. Hopefully you've got one on hand. I'd imagine that most people who've gone for a Raspberry Pi Zero are probably Raspberry Pi owners. Uh, plug into the network, get a fresh image of Raspbian on a micro SD, and if you've got an old Raspberry Pi, you'll need an adapter to plug into the full size micro SD socket, like so. Plug in power and any of those other things that you'd like, such as HDMI and a, and a wireless keyboard and mouse or, or similar, or connect to it over the network. And uh, just configure Wi-Fi on the Raspbian image. Uh, so I've got some instructions as to how to do that for this particular adapter on my website. So you can take a look at that. But basically, once you've got it configured and connecting successfully to the Wi-Fi network on uh, your old Raspberry Pi, all you need to do is grab the micro SD card out of the back. You can then cannibalize your connector to produce one of these bare PCB versions like this. Plug the micro SD into the Raspberry Pi Zero and then plug in your Wi-Fi adapter like so into the Raspberry Pi Zero. And now you've got network connectivity on your Raspberry Pi Zero. Perfect, just what I need for embedded applications where I want some low current, uh, low energy demand, portable computing, but with Wi-Fi connectivity. 
So I hope you liked this video. Uh, really simple technique, just uh, involving an old micro USB cable. Most people have quite a few of these lying around these days and uh, a cheap uh, Wi-Fi dongle that could be bought off AliExpress or eBay or any number of suppliers really. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you liked this. Uh, if you did, please like and subscribe. Cheers.